A little before midnight in Grand Island, Nebraska, dozens of workers file into one of several slaughterhouses across the Midwest. And tonight, officials from the Department of Homeland Security tell NBC News federal investigators are looking into whether 50 children who were illegally employed by Packers Sanitation Services, or PSSI, some as young as 13, were victims of human trafficking. In August, the Department of Labor opened an investigation into PSSI, scouring company records from 50 locations. So far, they say, at least 50 children were found to be working graveyard shifts for PSSI and at least five locations locations, including the Grand Island plant and a second JBS Foods plant in Worthington, Minnesota. There's plants all over the place that apparently are employing children, sanitation, cleaning up, meat packing plants from this particular uh, uh, organization, Packers Sanitation Services, all over the place in Midwest to the northern part of the country. So the number of children that have been found working in these types of conditions apparently has doubled since December. At least the ones that they've discovered have been doing this. Uh, some details about how this has all been going down. Uh, one of the country's largest food sanitation service providers has paid $1.5 million. No, that's not very much, by the way. In penalties for illegally employing at least 102 children to clean 13 meat packing plants on overnight shifts, what the Labor Department announced just today. I know the sanitation companies responded by saying that the children stopped working at their plant a long time ago. It's not a big deal. They said as soon as we became aware of the DOL's allegations, we conducted multiple additional audits of our employee base. Our audits and DOL's investigation confirmed that none of the individuals DOL cited as under the age of 18 work for the company today. And many had separated from employment with PS. SI multiple years ago. Does that sound like a very good defense? Yo, listen, we had no idea that we had these 12 year olds working for us, bro. But that was back in the past, like a couple months ago, bro. Now, what we're taught, we've determined that we had these children working for us and we don't even know how it happened. It's just our company, bro. So it sounds like you don't know how to run your company or you're trying to hide that you were accepting this type of help, I suppose. Still though, uh, despite how odd that sounds, the Department of Labor found that multiple children had suffered injuries in recent months. Investigators learned in recent months that at least three children suffered injuries, including a chemical burn to the face while cleaning slaughterhouses in the middle of the night. Here's one other example, because court records allege that a 13 year old working for Packers at a JBS beef plant in Grand Island, Nebraska suffered those chemical burns. Then a 14 year old worker who also suffered burns cleaning, uh, cleaned meat cutting machines during this shift from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Then they went to school and fell asleep in class or missed school completely is what those investigators said. Also, um, I think it's pretty obvious. We maybe don't need her to say it, but let's let this particular investigator talk about how it's pretty hard to uh, to get that child. Let's look at the picture of that child again. That was caught on some of these uh, images working on the floor and the plant scrubbing with after meat cutting blades in front of them. Uh, this particular uh, investigator talked about how it's hard to confuse that person with an adult. Watch. Court filings, the company did not deny hiring children, but attributed it to rogue individuals who presented fake identification. You met them. Do they look like adults to you? I would have a hard time ever calling the people I've met with adults. Uh, they certainly look, especially the, the youngest middle schoolers, um, no way to pass as an adult. Boot says she thinks the children may have been part of a trafficking scheme that led them to work at a slaughterhouse in her town of just over 50,000 people. There's too many coincidences with these children to think that this wasn't some kind of plot uh, entertained by a trafficker, uh, a coyote, a smuggler, um, or potentially even somebody who worked for PSSI. It's hard to really tell. And look, and that's the question of where is it these folks, these children, came from that were then working or how they obtained them, a little bit of it. I hope the investigation actually turns up more. Let's go back to that $1.5 million, that huge amount that they had to pay. Because Tyson, one of these, one of the, uh, the companies underneath this whole thing, uh, the revenue that they expect for this year is between 55 to $57 billion with a B. Think about the 1.5 million that they're gonna have to pay for this type of labor that they destroyed some kids' lives. Also, what's gonna happen to these kids? Advocates and lawyers for the children say that some of the child workers for PSSI were unaccompanied minors who recently came across the southern border. Unaccompanied minors are processed by the Border Patrol and turned over to the Office of Refugee Set Resettlement within the Department of Health and Human Services. And the children are then matched with sponsors who usually 
have some link to their family. So somewhere along the process, something went wrong. And I'm wondering where the what about the children crowd has been as this goes down, Jordan. This isn't the first story we've heard of kids working in factories or kids working jobs that are unsafe, especially for children. And there has been a recent push in red states to allow kids as young as 12 and 13 to yeah. work. And it's framed by conservatives who are pushing it, who are ultimately pro business. It's framed as an opportunity for them to get valuable working experience. Now, I'm someone, I had a job at 12, I was a paper boy. I would ride my bike a few streets over and deliver papers. Yeah, sure. That was a good experience, but I was not cleaning <laughs> meat cutting equipment. I was not working in an auto factory. Those would not be good experiences for a child. The reason they're pushing this is because it helps keep labor costs low. And it's ultimately just to help their bottom line. Like you pointed out the profit that Tyson Foods make uh, made over the last year and the billions they make every year. By hiring children and more companies hiring children, it allows them to increase their profits, which is ultimately what this is about. This is just capitalism a century ago. And we all recognized back then that it is unsafe and unhealthy and unwise to do it. And yet here we are again, because the robber barons in our society, despite having everything at their disposal and being able to live unbelievably and incredibly privileged lives, they're still unsatisfied. They still need more money. They still need a 50 yacht. They need a bigger house. And that's going to come now at kids expense. It's never enough. We had child labor laws. We had, well, we had enslaved folks in this country too. And we're back to that with many imprisoned folks. We've seen some of those stories as well. The only way to continue to push this this uh, this capitalism thing where the richest get as rich as possible, beyond rich as possible, is to continue to exploit more and more people. And the vulnerabilities, they just find them all over the place. Because the more they do it, the more you can find vulnerable people and they'll do it every time.